Hockey season is here, and CHEO wants parents and coaches to be vigilant, recognize the signs of concussion. Experts at CHEO are leading research and can say children can often take longer than adults to recover. Dr. Andre Ann Ledeau works at the CHEO Emergency Department in concussions. Uh, things have changed even in the last few months. Talk a bit about how our approach or your approach to recovery has changed. Yes, yeah, so in the last few months, uh, the guidelines for managing concussion has changed. Um, so we used to emphasize on the fact that the children needed to be um, removed completely from sports, but after a sustained concussion, which is still true, but removed as well from, from school, from their, their studies, um, from education, and put in this dark room where um, they couldn't do much. No reading, so no no, re uh, no screen time, no physical activity. Exactly. How has it changed? And so now we, we are starting to promote way more um, healthy, active living habits. And so what do we mean by this is eating healthy, um, having really good um, sleeping habits, but as well we're starting to promote more physical activity. Now, that having been said, um, physical activity is still very a gray zone in concussion. We are starting to study it more and more, and we're starting to see that maybe returning to physical activity gradually can promote recovery. When parents come to you and say, I'm afraid of contact sports, given, uh, given what we now know about concussions, what, what do you say? Um, it is normal to be afraid about contact sports straight after having sustained a concussion. Obviously, you want to protect your child from, from any danger. Um, so after, right after sustaining concussion, it's very important not to return to play or return to contact sports. Um, <clears throat> but to, and it's important to start gradually reintegrating your sport. And, uh, and later on, within uh, two, four weeks, when the, when the child is clear to return to sport, he, she can return to sport and, and should be able to, to play um, normally. Just uh, very briefly, how much more do we know about brain injuries than we do, did a few years ago? Um, <clears throat> we, we know a lot more. We, we, there's still a lot uh, to, to get, but uh, we're starting to, to understand a bit more the neurological uh, processes um, and, and what is happening within the brain uh, when there is a concussion. And we're starting to understand a bit more with uh, uh, neuroimaging um, recovery, recovery statuses. And this is what we're um, starting to research as well at, at CHEO. We're starting to to, to try to look at um, the balance, for instance, between um, rest and exertion after um, having a concussion. So when is it safe to return to physical activity? So when is it safe as well neurologically to return to physical activity after a concussion? So we're starting. We're starting to get there to understand more concussion. Lots of parents very up on this. Uh, yes, appreciate yes, your time. For sure. Thanks so much for being here. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Your continued support makes a difference in the lives of the children at CHEO. Please visit CHEOFoundation.com and donate today.